Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gamers with Game in our 2015 coverage of the Marble City Comic Con. Today we bring you an interview with Moses J. Mosley, better known as his role in The Walking Dead as one of Michonne's pets. Alright, I'm here with Moses J. Mosley. Moses J. Mosley. And you were a zombie in The I was. Walking Dead. You were actually pulled around by Michonne? Yeah, that was Michonne's pet walking. Yeah. Yeah. And how did that go? Man, it was it was pretty awesome. Um, they called me in, and after I submitted my photos to the cast department and everything, and um, they told me everything I would have to do, and um, they, they asked me to walk with them like I was yeah, right. like I wasn't thinking too much about it. I was like, okay, like what, what do you want me to do? You know, it was like it was pretty much just like walking like I'm drunk, <laughs> like Greg Nicotero, like he was actually the one who um, called me in and everything to go to the zombie school. He's such an awesome guy. He was like, just the first thing he said was walk like you're drunk. You're trying to find your car. It's Saturday night. And you're drunk right now. Okay. So I did a little walk and everything, and he was like, I like. I like it, I like your face, it's gonna work with you. And like, um, it was like a week later, I pretty much forgot about it after that. I was like, okay, like that was awesome, but I don't know what now. So like, I got a phone call at 4 a.m. Um, one morning, and they were like, um, hey man, sorry about the hour, but they just opened up, do you want it? And, you know, I'm like, sure, you know, why not, cool. And um, at first when I woke up, I thought it was a dream. And I was like, okay, then I looked at my phone, and I looked at my email, and I got a confirmation from them, and I was like, okay, apparently it wasn't a dream. Yeah. So I ended up going in and everything, and um, they walked me through the whole process again, and they were like, well, we want you to do in this part, and I hope you're interested, and um, we still want to do it. And I was like, sure, and um, I went and did it, I've been with them for about two, three weeks, and um, it was really awesome. Really? Yeah. And they told you to walk like you didn't have any arms, right? They actually didn't, and they didn't say that they part. Didn't say yeah, that. I think they knew. I thought. I think they knew that um, I knew the storyline, but I didn't. I didn't know anything about the show at all. Yeah. And if um, they would have told me to um, walk without arms, and if I would have known the storyline, I would have known who I was. Yeah. And then they didn't want to give away anything because they're really, you know, tight. They don't like letting anything get leaked out or anything. So after I did it and everything, um, I actually didn't find out until after it premiered who I was. And that's when it was like, um, okay, like everybody was like, wow, you know, you know who you are, like you're significant. But like I didn't know anything about it. I don't know who I am. Yeah. It was a really awesome opportunity, man, and like just it was a blessing to be part. So they told you that they wanted to work with you because you, they like your face, but they tell me they like my, but yeah. they messed me and up. They so messed I don't up, get it. Right? I think they it's a jawline, man. It's a jawline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever they did the makeup and everything on you right here, where were your arms at? They put um, green screen sleeves on me, so like um, they were pretty much my arms were like out like here, pretty much, and like they um, that was the only part of my body they didn't paint, and up to this part of my arm. And they put prosthetics around that part of my arm to simulate like it got ripped off, like cut off. So they wanted to make it look extra boring and gushy. Right. So like every, but up to my, um, my waist, my waist up, it was covered with makeup. How long did that take? About two and a half hours. And they were really strict with you? They were, man. Like I couldn't move at all. Like every time I was bitching or something, but hey, stop moving. Like don't mess it up, you know? No bad like, or anything? I, I, went, I could go to the bathroom, but I couldn't go to the regular one. I had to go to the private one because they didn't want me to go by anybody. Because they didn't want to give away any spoilers. Because they knew um, the people who knew about the storyline. If they saw me, they knew it was going to get leaked at who I was. So they wanted to keep everything um, tight wrapped, and I was pretty much off to myself, off to, myself to the side of, in a trailer or something like during the film until they started using it. How many zombies are there? There are hundreds of different zombies. Like I think it's like it's like a repertoire they use with different people. Typically, it's like a um, like a database. They have a couple of them in. Like this was actually the only zombie I was, but I considered the character zombie. Yeah. And it was like, okay, well, this is who you are now. That's all you can play because everybody knows who you are now. So that's pretty much the only thing I can play. That's pretty awesome. So what's the deal with the two zombies being pulled around anyway? We were basically zombie repellent for. And uh, we kept away all the other um, zombies from attacking them. And you didn't find out until season four that we were her, um, her boyfriend and but he was my best friend. Yeah. And that's when you find out with the storyline. But the original um, overall purpose was for zombie repellent to keep all the other zombies away. Yeah. Uh, what other shows have you done? Um, I've been in the originals on the CW, Vampire Diaries. I was in the season finale of Resurrection on ABC with Omar Epps. Um, I was in the show Rectify, the movie 42, Trouble with the Curve. Um, oh gosh, it's been a couple minutes. It's hard for me to remember. But, um, uh, I actually just got done shooting a feature film, a horror movie in um, San Francisco, California. The Dog Murder Screen should be out in about two weeks. So. Um, favorite moment from The Walking Dead? Favorite moment was shooting the Entertainment Weekly Like That still like blows me away to this day. Like Who gets to stay there actually on the cover of Entertainment Weekly, you know? And it's like, it was a blessing. And I was like, you said before on The Walking Dead with these zombies that you couldn't see anything? I was completely blind. You were? Couldn't see anything. Like, that tugging that you showed, that yeah. she showed you when um, she was pulling us with the chains, that was real tugging, showing us where to walk. To. Yeah. 
Really? Yeah, man. Yeah. Tell them whenever they cut the scene and everything, how how do you know where to go? She just pulled you still. She just pulled, oh, no, she actually she just dropped everything and like we had two like assistants coming and yeah. walking us like, and they popped the um the lenses out so we could see a little bit enough to see what was directly in front of us. Yeah. But um it was just enough like so we could actually go and sit down and go off to the trailer and we always had like two people with us walking us making sure we didn't fall on our faces so it was pretty awesome. Yeah. Do you like swinging a sword around? I did. It was so much fun. Like I've always loved swords, like since I was a kid, man. And just you know, the whole that knowing it was in the show, it was like it was, I was, it was a geeky moment. Man. <laughs> how did she become so good at it? She actually practiced with um, different martial artists and everything, showing her how to get good with the swings and everything. And she practiced a lot with it, like even on set sometimes. They should have her practicing and like getting her motions and swings down. So she's a real professional. Like, she's amazing. She is mine, yeah, definitely. Her and Morgan, yeah, her and Morgan. Yeah. Do you like Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> Favorite cartoon of all time. Yeah. All right, well, he's got an important up. question for you. I have, I have important question, man. Who do you think is better, Yamcha or Krillin? Krillin. Oh. Krillin was the only super, Krillin was the only human that could kick all of their ass. Oh. Like he was the strongest out of all of them. Tien may give him a run for his money, <laughs> but Krillin would have got it. Krillin was the toughest one out of all of them. He was the shortest, but he was the toughest. <laughs> Hands down, man. Human wise. <laughs> Yeah. Krillin. I guess I agree with that. Apparently Krillin's supposed to be the strongest human. Strongest human. Strongest I'll give him that. I think yeah. so, man. I think so. Have you done voiceover work before? I did voiceover for Tyler Perry Studios on occasion and I auditioned for a couple of voiceovers. But that's one thing I really want to do. I want to get into more cartoons and voiceovers. Mm -hmm. So if I get a chance to do that, like that'll be a that'll be the next blessing there. Yeah. How did you get started? Like I've only been doing it for three and a half years, right. and um, I actually didn't get started until after I lost weight. And um, I was getting different opportunities and stuff, and um, it wasn't until like I walked out of class one day at Georgia State University. A girl pulled me to the side and asked me, like, hey, do you want to be in a movie? And at first I was like, what kind of movie? You know, what are you talking about? You know, I'm thinking I'm in somebody's basement or something, you know, like they got a video camera. And I'm like, hold on, you know, but um, it actually ended up being the movie George for Noise. And um, they were filming it at the Georgia Dome downtown, and um, I, she, walked me, she walked me down there to... Um, to meet with other cast directors and they were like, yeah, we like your face and we want to put you on the scene. And after I did that scene, I started getting more emails about um, other um, casting opportunities and I've been doing it ever since. So they came to you first? It did, it was a blessing, man. Yeah, blessing. really? Yeah, it was a blessing. Do you think I can be an actor? Dude, man, you, you got the charisma, you know, like, it's for everybody. Man. And when you got a personality, that's when you stick out. That's what makes you a star, man. Yeah, well, I hope so. Yeah. You can do it, man. You got anything else? Um, no, I think that's all. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, it was a pleasure, man. Thank awesome. you. Great talking to you. Awesome.